I am the eldest of five children um, from a mother that dropped out of high school in order to have me. And through much of elementary school, we lived in various um, homeless shelters all across the state of North Carolina. And so I learned at a very early age that affordable housing and homelessness doesn't just happen to people who are bad people. So for me on a personal note, it's important to me that the people that made this community what it is are able to stay here and be a part of it and enjoy the benefits of it. Well, I think there's this misconception that people who need affordable housing don't work. And people also think of affordable housing as free housing, and that's absolutely not the case. The people that really need affordable housing oftentimes are on, on two spectrums. They are working class people, but you know, there's a reality that you know, wages have not kept up with the price of housing here in Wake County. And there's also the reality that you know, at minimum wage, which hasn't changed in a very long time, is about seven fifty an hour. And in Wake County, a living wage is about fifteen dollars an hour. So we currently have about fifty-six thousand working families making under thirty-nine thousand dollars a year who can't afford a unit here in Wake County. The other end of the spectrum, in terms of people who are on fixed incomes, are our seniors. Our um, disabled veterans, people that don't have an opportunity or the physical ability to get a different job and are disabled or on Social Security, in spite of having contributed to our society and to our community for their entire lives. For starters, people don't realize that having all levels of housing in a particular community is important. For example, you know, for the people that don't like you know, the apartment buildings that are coming up in their neighborhood, for every 100 units of just typical tax credit apartment, those units generate about $7.9 million locally, about over $800,000 in taxes, and about 122 jobs per year. When it comes to why affordable housing is important to families, it's important to note that in Wake County, about one-fourth of all of our households are cost burdened. Now, what exactly does that mean? That means that that family spends more than 30% of their income on costs associated with their household, which means they have less available money for important things like access to health care, saving for education, providing food, putting food on the table. Many people don't realize that here in Wake County, we have pockets of areas that are food deserts, meaning individuals don't have access to fresh fruit and vegetables and healthy foods. The more that people are spending on housing, the less they're able to do things like have a car and get transportation to a job and attend school and attend, um, take advantage of opportunities like Wake Tech. So we want people to, to be under that 30% threshold so that they can have the additional income to also be engaged in our economy and all that Wake County has to offer. Wake County struggles with upward mobility, um, which tends to greatly impact minority communities and individuals that you know, don't have a trust fund or don't have you know parents that came from um, you know legacy generations and so it's a problem here in Wake County and I want to make sure as an educational law attorney and as chair of the Wake County Board of Commissioners that we allow all of our children just to, to have maybe not the same opportunity to succeed because there's certainly factors outside of government's control but as much as is within our power to give every child an opportunity to be better than uh, what their zip code may tell them that they are. When it comes to the barriers that are keeping us from moving forward on affordable housing, for starters, there's political will. There are also economic barriers like the market. Um, because Wake County is growing as quickly as we're growing at about 63, 64 people every single day, we are slowly becoming a place of haves and have-nots. 
and the market as we you know can see all around us is not really creating the amount of affordable housing that we need for our working class population um, not to mention you know the barriers of the minimum wage being stagnant and with growth comes a need for supply and demand and unfortunately the demand right now is outpacing a lot of our working class population.